today on The Real. On Girl Chat, how do you discipline your kids? You yeah. hold it up <laughs> and they go running. Plus, Evelyn opens up about her abusive past. It's something that stays with you forever. And the steals of the season. With our holiday shopping deals. This blizzard is no joke, I tell ya. <laughs> then from Married to Medicine, Miss Quad plays our awesome new game, Shout Rages. What your mama gave you? Check what your mama gave you. Uh, On The Real. Girl chat? Yes! yes. Oh, amazing! Guest co-hosting with us all week is the lovely Evelyn Lozada. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, Ev, are you ready for some girl chat? I'm ready for some girl chat. Boom, let's right. do this. Up next, you guys, Georgetown University researchers recently released a study on parents and how they discipline their children. I know this gets very controversial, oh. um, but it actually shows that spanking is down and time out are up. So they also found that modern mothers across all income levels report spanking their children less than their counterparts in 1988. Way back in the day. Um, yes. Because I was getting spanked. So that was around the time when I was growing <laughs> True. up. True. True. Yeah. One researcher who was not involved in the study added, quote, what parents say they do might actually be different than what they actually do inside their home. True. Yeah, that is sure. very true. Very true. So, um, Evelyn, I know that you have children. Yes. And have they have a big range, you know. 20 year gap, there's a 21 year gap between my wow. daughter and my son, I know. What Did you do different things with, with yeah, different yeah. kids? You know, yes, I feel like with my son, I'm a little bit more of a softy mm -hmm. because yeah. it took me so long to have a baby and then God blessed me with a boy and I'm like, oh my God, I would have never thought I would have him. But pertaining to the spanking thing, yeah. that does not work in my house. Cause I'll say to him, do you want to get Papa? And he goes, yes. <laughs> so what do you do at that point, right? Like, what do you do? You're like, well, do you want time out? And he'll sit there, he'll get up. So what am I supposed to do? Strap him to the chair? I can't do that. Yeah. But let me tell you what does work. What? what? The old school chancleta. Oh, oh my God! You okay. take out, I take yeah. off my slipper and I'm like, and he is like, boom, he oh. runs. Yeah, it's like the threat, That's the big it. threat. You hold it really? up like this? Yes. You don't really even... Okay, so chunk, for those people that don't yeah. know, what is chancleta the, is the Puerto Rican word. I think, well, I think all Latinos use it. Yeah, for sure. It is for slipper. You take your slipper off, your house, your <laughs> flip flop, whatever it is, oh, and yes. you hold it up like this, and That's you don't it. even actually have to nope. spank them. You literally really? just threaten them. Yeah. You hold it up, and I they go running. Out every okay. time. Okay, I think anybody I else has the, the chancleta threat? The, the slipper. <laughs> See, the chancleta. You guys, okay. That's really cute that you guys have one specific thing. <laughs> In my culture, in my culture, the Asians, we got the feather dusters, the sack of chopsticks, the back of your hand, the foot, what? the boot, the flip flop, anything accessible. Come on, you don't whatever's like, in reach. Yes, anything. It's like my big thigh thou, and it's like a, it's, it's scary, right? The I boot. Yeah, and my, it's, it's this weird way that Vietnamese people say, you gonna know my hand, but it's, it sounds scary, right? Can you say that in Vietnamese one more time? My big thai tao. <laughs> you got it. There's not one Vietnamese person that doesn't know what that means. But okay, I want to ask for you because yeah. I think this is refreshing. Because I have always thought, if when I have or if I have a child, what would I do? Mm -hmm. How were you disciplined when you were younger? Oh my God, my mom would get the belt, the anything she could find, and we knew she meant business or her hands. Like yeah. I remember, I was in a bunk bed one time and I threw a battery at my sister's face, <gasps> and she can't. I know aggressive, but we got into it and she climbed that, that bunk bed and I, she had me cornered like, and she, you know, tore me up. So yes. yeah. what it was back yeah. then. Yeah. I, I, I didn't really get spanked, I got whooped. Y'all know what that means. Sure. What's the whooping? Sure. Wait, I wanna know the difference. 
difference. I want to know the difference. What's a spank? What's a whoop? Spanking is usually like with a switch or your hand. Uh, no, I got the fly swatter. I <laughs> what? got. Yo. I got the belt. Yeah. Oh Lord. I even got the extension cord. Have y'all heard of that? One? Oh yes, yes, <laughs> yes. This is real life. A lot of people can relate that to this. This is, is super real common. Life. I did turn out okay. I yes. will say that. <laughs> And I was a good girl in my household. However, I did, I, I did try the, 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 little, the, the little spank on the butt with my son. Oh. My daughter, I have to say, she already gets it. <laughs> I just have to look at her. Like, girls are Araya, different. I feel like girls are different. And then Araya's like okay, like, okay, mommy. But Aiden, I don't know. I found out that the more I spanked him, he, the more he got mad. Rebellious. He right? got rebellious. And then you guys, he wanted to spank me whenever, <laughs> whenever I disappointed him. So I realized that subconsciously, I'm only teaching him how to hit when he doesn't get his way or when someone upsets, upsets him. Exactly. Oh. So then I tried the timeout thing, the traditional timeout thing, just like your son. My son was like, I'm not sitting in no chair. What is this? So then you guys, I found out something that really works. I think I'm gonna try the shoe. The, yes. What is it? The chancleta. The chancleta. The chancleta. 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 Just come for him with it. But I, I found, I think every child has their own Achilles heel. Yes. There's something that they just don't want you to take away. And Maybe you know what that toy. was for me? What it was, was it the you? threat. The threat. Okay, yes. my mom said, I brought you into this world and I'll take, take you, you out. <laughs> That's all I needed. That is true. That, but that you is know what it is for, for Aiden. If you right. know my son, my son loves attention. So when he acts up, when he starts hitting me or kicking me, I just say, Aiden, you know what, you're gonna have a timeout, but we have a timeout anywhere. I, I don't send him to a chair because he's not, gonna, he's not gonna sit. I just say, Aiden, I don't like that you hit me. Hitting hurts, and I am not going to play with you until you learn how to act nice. And then, I swear to God, it worked for him. Wow. He's just, you know, yelling, screaming. It actually happened this morning. And I was like, you know what, Aiden? I'm just, I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm not gonna give any attention to your type of behavior. So until you know how to play nice, when you're ready, you come and talk to me. And it works. You just ignore him really? sometimes. You really do. It's the good. Wow. Dang. It's the good. <laughs> Ignore. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. some children respond Correct. to different things, yes. and it's up to the parent mm. to learn that. Yeah. Yes. Me and my they sister. They have the responsibility to know which works for what child right. and what works for their family. Yeah. 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 Me That's and my all sister don't agree on this, but then again, she oh, has two hear. children, and I don't have any yet. So, um, she does not believe in spanking. Her, they don't believe in spanking. They believe that how can you tell a child not to hit other people, but you hit them? If I had a kid. I would believe in spanking when they are much smaller, because I feel like if you get them real good when they're little, then you don't have to do it when they get older. No. You know I, what I, I mean? It's like, true. If you put the fear of God in a child at like four, or four like four, yo, at seven, I'm just looking at you. You you getting flashbacks of that one time when you were four. Right? No, when you learned how to fly. Yes. Exactly. I have to say though, Adrian. I believed in spanking. Yeah. I did. I come from yeah. a home where I was spanked. And but it your worked husband does for it. me. Um, my husband doesn't. But no, actually my husband does. It just depends. Kind of like what we're all saying. There are different ways yeah. you can discipline your child. I don't think you should spank your child all the time. And I don't think you should just say time out all the time. They're all they're all that different so ways, true. but it works differently. For, for each child, and that's what, that's what happened to me. I was like, what, what the hell is happening? I, I spank Aiden, and, and he's not, I he's not like Aiden. getting, he's not getting better. So what did your mother do? So growing up, my mom would spank me, and literally I was the kid that you would hit me, and I would sit there and go like this. Yeah. And like almost get really angry at you, and honestly probably want to hit back. Yeah. Oh. I would have died had I done that. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but my mom realized one day that that is not, how I was learning. So she exactly. sat me down and she actually talked to me. She was like, you hurt mommy when you do this. You've disappointed me. And 
this little strong thing that was doing this, I suddenly started crying and I was like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And she realized that talking to me and explaining I why I had done something she wrong. She found your Achilles heel. I, you know what, you I remember what for you. when it was to, to the point, it, and I believe this, because growing up, there will, if you do spank your child or if you do discipline them, there's going to be a day when you can't. Mm -hmm. And I remember that yeah. day that happened with me and my mother. And we were, we were going on the elevator, she was upset at me about something, and all I remember is I was 14 years old and I saw that hand coming towards me and I did like this. Mm -hmm. That's all I did, oh. cause I was, I blocked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as I was blocking it, I was like, oh crap, I am in trouble now cause I done <laughs> blocked her hit. Yeah. But oh, it was funny cause she mad. stepped back and she realized that she couldn't hit me anymore. That's yep. true. She had to start talking to me. So as a parent, you'll know when you can when you have to stop yeah. with the with the hitting, mm -hmm. and yeah. you really have to start you know talking. Yeah. And that's, that's important. Yeah. And I just wanna, I just wanna make one thing clear. There's a difference between beating yes. your children right. and spanking. And spanking. Right. right. Please. Don't beat your kids. No, no don't beat your kids. No. But also, just keeping it real with it's like you know, when I babysit. If I babysit, and if you trust me enough, I have to. You know, I go by what you tell me to. Mm -hmm. You know, if they ask me, but you also have to trust me. It's like I, if oh. something happens with that child and I am um, in charge of that child, you have to trust me that I can discipline that child. If I can't discipline your child, I'm not babysitting your child. Right. All right, that's yeah. it. That's, that's a great point. Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Tyreek Hill had an impressive game on the field recently, and thanks to that performance, the NFL's main Twitter page featured a photo of him high-fiving fellow player D. Anthony Thomas. Some fans thought glorifying Hill seems a bit hypocritical, mm -hmm. considering his history of domestic abuse and the league's stance against it. Back in 2015, 2015, Hill pleaded guilty to abusing and strangling oh his God. pregnant girlfriend. I hate even speaking about him and, and giving him this attention because I feel like he doesn't deserve it. Um, it's okay. All right. um, I know, Evelyn, you had your own um, issues with domestic violence, and it's not easy. It's, my heart goes out to the victim. And I know people, please don't tweet me telling me this happened four years ago. Get over it. It's something that stays with you forever, okay? Something that stays with you forever. And my, th my main concern is for, for the victim. I just hope that, I know she had a baby from him, right, or was pregnant. Yeah. That she chose to love herself first. Mm. Honor yourself. And do the right thing, because if it happens once, we all know it's going to happen again. And, you know, it's just, I, I had so many people, and I'm emotional about it, because I'm, I'm sure the victim always gets re-victimized all over again. So yeah. for me, I had so many tweets of fans tweeting me, like, you are horrible. I hope you die. What? You know, you ruined this person's career. What? You, yes. So here I went through this whole, you know, traumatic, you know, incident, and then I have to, I, I had to go through it all over again from so many people just being mean to me because it's like, you ruined this person's life. So, you know, my heart goes out to her. Um, I, I'm just, I'm praying for her, and I really hope that she did the right thing. What advice would you give to women? that, you know, may be going through this because you got out. And that's what I want to commend you for, yeah. okay? I really want to commend you for that. My advice to any woman that's going through this, and I get messages all the time, and I respond to them as much as I can because I get photos that are very disturbing. You need to put yourself first. Yeah. Find someone that you can talk to. That You know, I, when you're in this situation, you feel like, who am I gonna tell? Like, I'm so embarrassed, I'm gonna be judged. How am I gonna tell my mother, my sister, my best friend? But you would be so surprised if you just opened up and just were honest with someone. You know, just really talk to somebody, love yourself, put yourself first, yeah. honor yourself, you know, just, just try to just get out of that situation alive. Yeah. Yeah. And Jeannie, I know there was something you wanted to ask Evelyn. Yes. No, but 
First, Evelyn, I want to thank you for being so brave and yes. sharing your story with us at this table. Thank you. Thank you. So, I have a guy friend, and uh, we're really, really close. And then I befriended his girlfriend, his, his girlfriend, and uh, we became, you know, somewhat close. And as our friendship grew, she admitted to me that her, my close friend, is hitting her. And one occasion, uh, got her stitches and landed her in the hospital. I don't know what to do with this information. He wouldn't be my friend no more, I'll tell you that much. I'm just, sometimes you have to... But if that doesn't, but, but, but my friendship with him doesn't change the, or save a life. So I'm just asking, what can I do to and intervene? She, wait, 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 still... wait, Jeannie. No, wait a minute. You, when I say you don't become, you, you, you don't condone that kind of stuff. I would talk to him. This is my opinion. I would go talk to him, but I would also let him know that I don't, don't, I don't condone that kind of stuff. You don't put a woman in the hospital and think you're going to be my friend. I just don't believe in that. Right. You know? Yes, I know. And God forbid something happens to her that he really does something to her that she's no longer here, right? Yes. So, I do believe, I will say this, you know, I do know a few men that, and just from meeting them, were abusers, got the help and changed. So I know yes. that you yes. can yes. definitely, that is, that is but you have to, you know, put the work in. You have to go to counseling. You have to, you know, because some men don't know better. You know, it's like, yeah. I grew up in my household and my, you know, I see my mom getting beat up every day and they think that this is okay, yes. right? Yes. So, you know, I do believe that your friends can change, yes. as, but he get has help. to want to get the help and change and become a better person. I'm telling person. you, from, I'm speaking from my experience, because wow. I've dealt with a lot of relationships where my friends have been be beat up. I don't like it, and I don't appreciate it. And the thing is, no matter what I try to do to talk to that person or him, it never changed. So I had to change, and I had to get out of it, because it was the three people in the relationship. Wow. It's me, and it's them two. So it's like, I understand what you're saying, but the last time that this happened to me, I talked to my friend, it was the guy that was, you know, beating on, and I told him, I said, I'm going to call the cops on you. Mm -hmm. And he pulled the gun on me, wow. okay? That's why I'm telling you, Jeannie, this is not, you know, this is not a fairy tale, this is real life. And when people start pulling guns on you and things like that, then you have to take some action. So I'm telling you, don't play around with them. Understand what is going on and let him know. And then you make a decision to get out of that relationship because you might get hurt. And when you get hurt, you ain't gonna be on this damn show. Then what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, this is. Thank you. For how you, how you find? The laugh and everything is freaking phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. We love you, Lonnie. We love, love you guys, Lonnie. too. Yeah. Our next guest is known for her fashion sense, her wit, and her razor-sharp tongue. She's a businesswoman who's also the life of the party, and she's quick to let you know she's doing it for the gods. <laughs> you can catch her each week on the hit Bravo show, Married to Medicine. Please give it up for Miss Quad. <laughs> Girl, you Welcome. look so yeah. Yes. yes. Thank the ball you so of energy. Much. The Thank body, you everything. Guys. Okay, so you've been married to Dr. Gregory Lunsford yes. since 2012. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Tell us about this. You know what? It is a dynamic situation between the two of us. As you guys know, my husband is 13 years my senior. Mm -hmm. Oh. Because here's the thing. When I was dating, I didn't have time to play games mm -hmm. with guys. And mm -hmm. you're saying you're going to show up. And then mm -hmm. I'm sitting waiting. Uh -huh. And then you never show up. Or you say you're going to call me back. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I never get the call. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have time for that. No. Well, good. That's why you get two or three of them. So you never wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Who wait a minute? Don't listen to Lonnie. As a man, Renee. I love it. 
<laughs> you know, on your show, Married to Medicine, your yes. co-stars are mothers. Yes, they are. And they're pressuring you to have children. Yes, How do they do. How you feel about that? I'm going to do what's best for me when the time is right. Mm -hmm. I feel that being a mother you need to be completely mm -hmm. dedicated to your yep. child. And I don't want any distractions at all. Mm -hmm. You gotta look at it, my husband is a physician. He's at three hospitals, he rounds at three hospitals. Wow. And then we just opened a new practice for him mm -hmm. back in June. So once I started, uh, once I finished filming Married to Medicine, my second job kicked in as a wife mm -hmm. to get the office together. Oh. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing, he's not there already. So it's like, mm -hmm. I know that the child is gonna be with me pretty much all the time. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't find that anything is wrong with that. I knew when I married my husband as him being a, a physician, that I was gonna be number two. Right. It's understood. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, his career is first and he's mm -hmm. so devoted and he loves helping people. Mm -hmm. And with the state of our country right now with all the mental illnesses, I mean, we need more guys like him. Yes. That's so, right. So yeah. He's a good guy. So we're gonna wait a while, but I just wanna clear something up because I get people telling me all the time, oh Miss Qua, I just don't want to have a baby because she don't want to mess up her body. <laughs> I'm like, honey, I can't mess up my body. I work out three times a week and what I can do, I'll lay in a supine position and get it done. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I love it. But so recently your brother and his family moved in. Yes. What is that like? Oh Lord. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a glass of wine later. Oh, but yes. you know what, I actually love my family being with me. Um, of course, they're from Tennessee and things were not going well with them right. there. Um, the opportunities were not plentiful and I felt like, for me, I feel responsible for my family. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not the type of person to squander my success. Mm. So I feel that it's for me to share Mm -hmm. And if I can guide them and reach back and pull them up, then that's what I'm about and that's what I'm going to do. So I did get a lot of criticism for that because they're with me and I said they have one year. And when I said okay. one year, people were like, one year? What, the, what is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. And I felt like when you're, you're coming up with a plan for life, this is a life-changing experience. Right. So we want to talk about building your credit. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. We want to talk about making sure you build your resume and how to interview. Awesome. On, it's teaching all over again. So I have to exercise my patience with them. That's awesome. That's got it. Yeah. And she's agreed to play our game Shout Rages. Yes. But first, love this we need to know, Miss Quad. Yes. What's up? What's up? Um, do you consider yourself a loud mouth or a know it all? I'm a loud mouth. <laughs> I, know, I know who so I am. This is the perfect game. Shoutrageous is the perfect game for loud mouths or know it alls. We're splitting our couch in half and we're going to go head to head in the app version of our classic game. It's time to play Shoutrageous! <laughs> okay, here's how it works we are split in half, Jeannie, Evelyn, and Tamara against Miss Quad, Adrian, and myself, the Boom. winners. What? Hi. Whichever team can stack up the most points after a round of shouting will win bragging rights and a prize for the audience. Yeah. It's that easy. Yeah. What are you guys like doing over you, there? No, wait, wait, wait. Picking this me. is our wait, team. Wait. It's, it's, no, it's team Tevellini. One, two, three. What? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's Deep how break. you feel? That's yeah, how you feel? Okay, okay. Yeah. We oh, know you're spicy. Way. We know you're a little spicy. So we're going to play a couple of topics from the app's adults-only categories. Ooh, all right, Is let's that do all right it. with so you? That's Good. all right with me. Okay. Right. okay. All right, round one, you guys. Jeannie, Evelyn, Tamara, you guys have 30 seconds to guess. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Your topic is okay. foods you can enjoy with your sex. Chocolate covered cream. strawberry. Uh, strawberry. Wait, wait. Uh, wait chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Bananas? Yes. yes. Uh, oh. Grapes. Oh, grapes. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, God. Strawberries. Uh, Twinkies. Kiwis. Yes. Nice and slimy. Yes. Yes. Sour oh. rope. Yes. Cool Whip. Just name everything. Cool Whip. Yes. Whipped cream. Yes. Um, yes. Did we say chocolate? Yes. 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 Chocolate. M&M. Oh. Caramel. Caramel. Starburst. Caramel. No. Um, caramel. Anything with sticky. Sticky. Anything caramel with sticky. Yeah, we rocking like lifesavers. A star starburst? Um, yeah. No. Uh, Orange juice. Uh, 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 Champagne. Liquor, banana. Oh my gosh. Liquor, wine. You got banana. Yes. Wine. wine. That's not food. Uh, uh, oh, God. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. Okay, gummy bears. Okay. Tell me which ones they got. <laughs> Whipped cream. Uh -huh. chocolate, chocolate sauce. Uh -huh. Yeah. Strawberries. Uh -huh. Banana. Okay. Grapes. Grapes. This is what you didn't get. Coconut oil. Ooh. That's food. Oh, Oysters. Ew. Popsicles. Oh. oh honey. Yeah. yeah. Ah. And so edible underwear. And your total is 30. Okay. 30 right. points. That's, That's a good one. Whoa. 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 
had to ask as well. <laughs> Sounds so like a cool. winning score to me. Pass it over, please. Thank you so much. You're All right, now you guys have to beat our score to win, okay? okay here we go. Yes. Let's see if Miss Quad, Lonnie, and Adrian can top right, us let's get when it. they guess the answers for this topic, which is other names for butt. Go. Caboose. Um, Apple bottom. Donkey. Apple bottom. Donkey, yeah, donkey. Um, butt. What your mama gave you? Shake what your mama gave you. Um, what your mama Luke. gave you? Rump, rump, um, rump. Uh, rump. Uh, ham hocks, ham. Yes. Caboose. Uh, uh, rump. Booty, um, booty, yeah, booty. Boom. Yes, go ahead. Uh, bum, bum. Bum. No. Nope. Um, um, derriere, derriere. Uh, what was that a Fergie mountain. song? The Fergie song. A uh, mountain. Lady uh, lumps. Lady uh, lumps. Lady uh, lumps. Humps. 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 Bumps. Uh, 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 rumps. Nope. Back door. Oh, back door. Yeah, I know about that. What did she say? Maybe that's Oh, All right, killed it. Oh Yo. my God! You did good. I'm you feeling guys, salty. That Lonnie, last one. I'm a little surprised with Lonnie's that last back door. One, you slid that right in. <laughs> Love wow. Oh my God! Okay. How many? Did you I got? got apple bottom, back door, booty, derriere, rump, and caboose. What wow. you didn't get was but dunk a dunk. Oh, oh my God! Money maker. I, I said check with Tail feather. Again. Oh, oh, it sure no. is a tail feather. And what your mama gave you. I said she said that. Gave you. Review I, the audio. I said she really did. Yes, she did. I Damn. Did. Yes, I did. Yes, All I right. did. Okay. Okay. So, 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 guess what? Booyah. <laughs>